welcome to another edition of MWC Shorts. I'm Karen Bowman and I'm joined in the studio by AJ Van Buckhoven. Welcome. Morning. Morning. Thank you for joining us, AJ, on a rather wintry day here in the London office. Um, I want to come straight into some questions. You were due to take part within the Industry X theme um, in Barcelona, and your talk was all around the AI-powered industrial IoT. So can you tell me a bit more about that and introduce us to that project? Yes, thank you very much for having me on. Um, basically, we collaborated with Hitachi. Um, we uh, worked on a program with them. Of course, Hitachi, as most people will probably know, is a significant large organization in a wide range of different industries, from automotive through to um, nuclear power stations through to rail, very diverse. And um, they wanted to exploit the power of AI and IoT. They are traditionally, they were um, an OT company, operational technology, so hardware, you could say. Um, they've also had a long history in IT, and of course they're combining these two things. But what they wanted to do is they wanted to provide a platform for experimentation together with their customers. So we were collaborating with them to create a uh, a system that could be deployed very quickly and very diversely across that wide portfolio of different businesses. Fantastic, thank you. And can you tell us how that partnership came about? How Can you give us some background to that? Yeah, so, sure. Um, we've been working with Hitachi for many years. Um, Hitachi um, has an excellent R&D organization, mainly focused on their business to, um, that they are already in. And we as a company, Cambridge Consultants, we are a technology-based innovation consultancy with 850 scientists and engineers. But what we focus on is more transformative and breakthrough innovation. And we're passionate about that kind of innovation. And together with Hitachi, we can help them to get into new markets, new opportunities. Fantastic, right at the cutting edge Indeed. of innovation. Yes. Excellent. So could you talk through some of the use cases for the project? Yes, of course. Um, as I said, they're quite diverse because this is a universal platform that could be applied in a wide range of uh, situations. So one particular use case is in uh, shipping. And what they did there is they basically worked with a shipping company to optimize um, uh, routing and also uh, the, the loading of the ship potentially as well. So what the system does is it combines uh, the sensors that it has in its own platform together to linking into the sensors that are on the ship as well as external factors such as the weather or tidal flows etc. And it's applying all of those to then dynamically optimize uh, routing, loading etc. So there's a really good efficiency gains. Mm -hmm. Um, a very different use case is actually in industrial automation where Hitachi is very interested in uh, cyber physical systems where there's a very strong interaction between humans and machines mm -hmm. and that's really critical to get that right and not just for an efficiency point of view but also from a safety point of view. Oh fantastic and those are two areas that are huge within Industry X particularly shipping, Absolutely. logistics, supply chains and yes. as you said efficiency gains. Exactly. Great. And can you tell us a bit about what you've learned? What are your key takeaways from the project? Yeah, it's been a really exciting project, but there are also wider implications. So many organizations are developing IoT and AI strategies of how they're going to utilize these really um, broad technologies, if you will, in their specific organization. And that's important, that strategy, but actually what we've seen from this project and many other projects that we're working on, to develop real service innovation, you need to experiment very quickly because it's only through validating the, the opportunity by showing the real benefits that you can get in the field that you can develop the specific solutions that you can then really quickly roll out across a wide range of different assets, if you will. And, and talking about benefits, how can companies kind of realize the, the commercial value when it comes to IoT, AI? How can, can you share any insights on that? Yeah, so I think it's initially through that experimentation and, and doing so really rapidly because quite often we find that you, you can set the best strategy in the world, but when you start to experiment, you're learning new insights and applying those insights quickly and then pivoting to the right location to implement it is really important. And also actually the system itself through the AI can learn on the fly 
generate the insights and adapt dynamically. So actually, that experimentation loop is really critical in the success. And we're seeing that with the many other customers that we're working with. So within the, the telecoms industry and, and industry more broadly, there has to be much stronger collaboration. Mm -hmm. uh, Hitachi called it co-creation, which I think is a really nice term, yeah. um, to really work together with speed and then roll out more broadly. Fantastic. Collaboration, co-creation, partnerships, they're exactly. all kind of key themes to help companies to realize industry X. Yeah, and uh, making that easy is, is, is the point. And the technology to some extent makes it easy, but also actually the partnerships and trusted partnerships, mm -hmm. making sure that the, the legalese, if you like, is, is not taking over everything yeah. else and allowing that experimentation to happen quickly before you then start to make real business. Okay, great. And then looking forward uh, five years ahead or four mm. years ahead, where do you see the future of Industry X going? What are your thoughts on that? That's a big question. Yes. Um, I would say that experimentation phase will probably take a, a, a couple of years yeah. and we, we should see we're already seeing some good application. They tend to be applications that are very specific, yeah. um, but we'll see broader rollout in the next couple of years, I'm sure. Um, and, and then I, actually we're getting really at scale. And, and then of course we're looking at the new innovations that will come then from having that scale that will enable new things again. Great. Well, thank you so much, AJ. I'm afraid that's all we've got time for. No, thank you very much. I hope to see you next year in Barcelona rather than here in London. Hopefully thank with better weather. Yeah, I hope so. I <laughs> hope so. Thank you for joining us for another MWC Short.